without further ado, take it away, Brother Alex, ang ating singer. <laughs> Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Alex, <laughs> Brother Sari, pasensya na, hindi ako nakatend ng sports pa. Saya, nag-chill sana ako sa'yo. <laughs> Anyways po, magandang hapon po and uh, I am uh, privileged po to, uh, to give this uh, talk number 8 na po ng ating uh, household servant leaders uh, training. Magandang hapon! <laughs> Good afternoon! <laughs> okay po, start na po natin. Let's get the ball rolling. So, yun nga po, no, ang aking topic after po ni Brother Bob is brotherly love. Our task is to take care of God's people, those entrusted to our household. Ano naman na po, no, pretty obvious na po, nabanggit na rin po yan ni, ni Brother Bob kanina. But uh, let me just uh, uh, quote, quote this uh, Bible verse. From the first uh, letter of Peter, chapter 5, verse 2. And it says there, Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care, watching over them not because you must, but because you are willing, as God wants you to be, not pursuing this honest game, but eager to serve. Yun pala po yung ano, yung meaning ng ating uh, pagiging uh, household servant ano dapat pala hindi lang because we must but rather because we are willing and because God wants us to be one Tama po ba? Baka meron pong <laughs> mag-oppose. Amen. Well, Sino po ba what, who, who better be the best example kung di si Christ himself? And it is uh, written in uh, the Gospel of John, verse 10. I mean, chapter 10, verse 11. I am the good shepherd. And the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. galing na example, ano? So, parang binibigyan na tayo ng preview kung paano ba tayo dapat maging household servant. Ito na yung binibigay na example ni, ni Christ Himself. Dapat pala, kaya natin ilig daw na ating sarili for our uh, flock. Ano po ba? So, we can see how important our service na po Ano po yung ginagawa natin service? It is uh, not just an assignment, a task, or a function. But gaya nga po nang sabi dun sa first letter ni Peter, kailangan natin gawin because we are willing and God wants us to do it. Hindi just because we must. Okay po ba? Palo? <laughs> Okay, and the very essence po ng ating uh, service is none other than, nabanggit na rin po kanina ni Brother Bob, at uh, alam ko naman po paulit-ulit ito sa lahat ng ating mga to, ay walang iba kundi love. O, as brethren in the Lord, one very important quality of our work is brotherly love. Okay po, hindi po siya yung isang klase na, na love but brotherly love. Okay? So, paano nga po ba natin na mapapadama or may express yung ating brotherly love? Meron pong dalawang uh, karakteristik o dapat na attitude natin. Una-una po ay attitude of service love. Ito po ang dapat natin maging uh, attitude towards our service. It's service love. And may I quote 
in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verse 45. And it says there, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to gain his life as a ransom for many. So makikita po natin dito, no, na sa mission of, missionary families of Christ, hindi lamang, hindi po uh, basta leader yung ating mga leaders, kung hindi servant leader. Ano po ba ang diferensya ng ang difference ng uh, pagiging leader sa MSC. We are called to be servants. Dito ba? Kasi mamaya, i-expound pa po natin a little later po. We give of ourselves willingly so that those in our care will experience the life and salvation of Jesus. Una-una po, no? We all know that He is the chief shepherd. Ba? Sinabi na nga po natin kanina na I am the good shepherd. Sabi po niya kanina. Doon sa ating uh, example na si Jesus sa just Gospel na John, I am the good shepherd. So siya po yung pinaka-chief shepherd na dapat natin susundan. Okay po. Ang next po na attitude natin is none other than the attitude of humility. Dapat po talaga ay hindi mawawala yung humbleness sa ating service. Kasi kung ito po ang mawawala, hindi po talaga tayo makaka-genuinely serve sa ating po mga brothers. Kasi ang mangyayari ay uunahin po natin yung ating sarili. So, that's the right way to serve is to serve according to Jesus' example. Pinakita naman niya po kung paano siya naging humble. Di po ba? He even washed the feet mo kanyang mga apostles. That goes to show how a servant leader should be. Di po ba? But let me quote to you in the Gospel of Mark chapter 10 verses 35 to 44 and allow me to read it for you po. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him. Teacher, they said, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. What do you want me to do for you? He asked. They replied, let one of us sit at your right and the other at your left in your glory. You don't know what you are asking, Jesus said. Can you drink the cup I drink? or be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with? We can, they answered. Jesus said to them, You will drink the cup I drink and be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with. But to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared. When the ten heard about this, they became indignant with James and John. Jesus called them together and said, You know that those who are regarded as rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. Klarong, klarong, klaro na po, no? Anong definition talaga ng pagiging, a, pagiging a servant leader, no? There is a marked difference, ito po yung sinasabi natin kanina, between sa service in the world and the service in the kingdom. Sabi nga nung sa reading natin, rather than lord it over, we serve. We become the slave of all. Rather than the glory in our importance, we serve in humility. We humble our serve, our, our self in service. Rather than be first, we serve ourselves last. Ganun po katindi, no? Pagka, pagka servant leader. Talagang sabi nga nung dati kong kasama sa, sa Riyad na katito namin na nasa Guam na ngayon, 
ang servants daw uh, unang-una sa serbisyo at uh, huling-huli sa benepisyo. <laughs> Yun na po pala ang tama dapat na posture natin being servants. Unang-una sa serbisyo, huling-huli sa benepisyo. <laughs> okay. Ambition and self-focus are obstacles to Christian service. Siguro naman, self-explanatory na nga po no? dahil nga po sa nangyari kay, kay James at saka kay John, ano? naghangad sila na gusto nila katabi nila si Christ no? in His glory, left and right pa. Okay po ba? But uh, we may be good disciples just like them and be sincere in following our Lord. But we could still get sidetracked or lost in our motivations for serving. Hindi po ba? Kasi andun pa rin yung personal ano natin eh, uh, ambition. No, na tayo yung magiging una, walang, walang pinagkakaiba yan dun sa mga pariseyo before. Gustong gusto nila, pagka nasa ano, yung places of honor. Gusto nila, dun sila makakaupo, dun sila makikita. No? Instead na dun sa pinakahulihan, dun sila, dun sa inahan. So, hindi po pala ganun ang ating uh, uh, dapat na maging posture or attitude regarding our service. Okay, let's go now to the to the qualities. Ano, paano po ba natin makoconcretize the qualities of yung tinatawag na nating brotherly love? Here is po, as expressed by the author of love himself. Walang iba kung si Jesus Christ. Una-una po, our genuine and deep concern para po sa practical needs of others. Doon po sa Gospel di John, uh, chapter 2, verses 1 to 11, ang sabi po doon, medyo mahaba lang, sabi sa John, uh, let me just read it for you. Alam na alam po natin itong lahat because this is the time when uh, our Lord manifested Himself. Ito po yung una-una niyang ginawang uh, miracle. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there and His disciples had uh, also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was done, Jesus' mother said to Him, They have no more wine. Woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Nearby stood six stone water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, Now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. They did so, and the master of the banquet test tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had came from, though the servants who drew them, drawn the water, knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, Everyone brings out the choice wine first. And then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you have saved the best till now. What Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory. And his disciples believed in him. So, grabe no? Dito nga natin ma- una-una nakita yung, ano, no? yung uh, malasakit ng ating uh, mahal na ina. Eh, Hindi naman siya talaga yung ano eh, yung may pakasal pero <laughs> relative lang siya pero talagang uh, gano'n na lang yung kanyang deep concern. But even then, yung ating Panginoon, sinunod yung request ng ating mahal na ina. Diba? Napaka, napaka ano talaga na maging uh, intercessor natin si Mama Mary kasi 
isang sabi lang niya eh, talagang sumunod si Jesus Christ kahit na hindi pa niya nga daw time na i-manifest yung sarili niya. But then again, well, hindi siya nag, ano, nagdalawang sabi. No? And uh, the thing is, sinabihan pa ni Mama Mary yung mga servants, oh gawin niyo kung ano yung sasabihin niya. Basta sunod lang kayo sa kanya. And the rest is uh, ika nga eh. History. Nasabi pa nga ganyan eh, yung pinaka, ano, parang sinasabi na saving the best for last. Diba? Instead na yung cheap wine ang uh, bibigay na pagka yung patapos na yung ceremony o yung, yung party, eh yung pinaka masarap ng wine ang mga panghuli. Diba? So, ganun din po pala dapat yung ating uh, concern para sa ating uh, Uh, mga mga brothers na po practical needs nila dapat po pala ay uh, ating ding uh, ma-resolve ma or matulungan or uh, maibigay po. and also there's one more uh, uh, good example in uh, in the feeding of the multitudes in the gospel of Matthew chapter 15 Verses 32 to 38, and let me read it oh, for you. Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for these people. They have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry, or they make laps on the way. His disciples answered, Where could we get enough bread in this remote place to feed such a crowd? And then, how many loaves? Uh, I mean, how many loaves do you have? As Christ, as Jesus, seven. They replied, and a few small fish. He told the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, and when he had given thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and they in turn. To the people, they all ate and were satisfied. Afterward, the disciples picked up seven basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was four thousand men, besides women and children. So, kita ng kita naman po natin ano kung paano i-address ng ating uh, mahal na pangilon yung concern ng uh, mga kapatid natin, ano, yung mga kapatid niya, noong time na yun na nakinig sa kanya na for three days ano po, kasama niya, ayaw niyang pauwiin kasi baka nga naman on their way eh, mag-collapse na sila sa guto dahil wala sila na makain. So, he did another miracle. Ano. And we too are uh, called to be concerned, to give a you know, deep and genuine concern for the practical needs of our brothers. But uh, most of all, we cannot just have a spiritual approach. In uh, James, it was written, What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm, and well fed but does nothing about your physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, it is not accompanied by action, is dead. So ito po yung, uh, yung ating ibang mga kapatid sa ibang pananampalataya, eh, <laughs> hindi sila naniniwala daw. Kasi ano daw eh, hindi na kailangan ng action, faith alone is uh, uh, But uh, it is so written, so we can really address the needs of others ano po? and uh, again in the first letter of uh, John I mean the first book of John uh, chapter 3 verses 17 to 18 says there if anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them how can the love of God be in that person Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, 
but with actions and in truth. Medyo ano po no, talagang pinapaalam sa atin na hindi hindi lang pwedeng sa salita lang. Kailangan talaga may action. Meron po talaga tayong dapat gawin para ipakita yung ating concern talaga sa ating mga brothers. Ikalawa po ano, sa quality na kailangan natin is to be available po sa ating flock po. In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verses 13 to 16, it says there, People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them. But the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as this. Truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on them, and blessed them. So, pinapakita lang po talaga dito, no? Na ang kanya pong uh, dapat na maging uh, attitude po natin is to be, to be available na wala, wala pong pinipili. Po. Because uh, Jesus was also available to sinners, to the sick, and to the relatives of his disciples. So, kahit sino po. No? Alam naman po natin na maganda rin naman yung concern nung, ano, nung mga, mga disciples noon because they were just concerned na pagod na si, si Christ and he needs the rest. But still, kahit na po sa pagod niya, he, he did not, uh, did not uh, hamper him to still uh, be available to the little children. Na ganun din nawa po tayo sa ating mga mga flock, sa ating mga brothers. We are to be uh, big brothers to our household members. Po. Ikatlo po na para makonkretize natin yung quality ng brotherly love is our expression of affection. So, see, minsan, ang hirap po talaga, no, lalo na sa mga, sa mga lalaking katulad natin na mag-express na ating uh, emotion. <laughs> but, sabi nga rito, expression of affection is one of the qualities of brotherly love. And it is shown that uh, Jesus expresses human emotion of affection also. It is uh, in, uh, in John verse uh, chapter 11 verses 35 to 36 and it says there Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, see how we love him. So, nagpakita po siya na expression. No? Alam ko, ito lang yung uh, first time na bang umiyak. As in, second time nung no? malapit na siyang yung, yung kanyang passion yung kanyang crucifixion so he wept when uh, when he went to, uh, to Lazarus and another one po is in the Mark chapter 10 verse 21 Jesus looked at him and loved him one thing you lack he said Go, sell everything you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. And doon, no, nakalagay talaga, no, love him. Talaga nagpakita rin siya ng, ng human na uh, emotion dun sa kanyang kausap. Ano po. Kasi, nakikita niya, may, mayroong pang pagkukulang. Eh. So, instead na sabunin niya, kaysa sinabihan niya na, ito pa ang kulang mo. No, he looked at him lovingly. Kumbaga, nagpakita pa rin siya ng emotion. So, mga brothers, it's not, a, it's not a awkward para po tayo ay magpakita ng 
ito ng ating emotion when needed. Uh, gaya nga po ng pag-empathize natin sa mga, sa mga brothers natin, dapat ipakita talaga natin na we are we are concerned, we are expressing our uh, emotion to show our affection. Oh. Next, kailangan po talaga ipakita natin yung ano natin. Kung kailangan natin tumawak, kailangan natin umiyak, let's do it. You know? Let's try and uh, laugh with them. Yung care po, yung ating uh, pangangalaga for them is not just a duty. You know? uh, we love them because we treat them as family. You know? As one of our beloved uh, family members. Okay, and next po na quality pa is patience and forbearance. Ano po ba yung, yung patience, lagi na na natin nadidinig yun, ano? Kailangan natin na maraming pasensya. Gaya nga po na nabanggit na ni Brother Bob kanina, sometimes yung mga household members natin ay medyo mahirap uh, aktunguhan. But still, we need to be patient with them. And forbearance. Ano ba yung forbearance? Lagi kong tinatanong ko eh. Lagi kong hindi ko, hindi ko masyadong ano yung forbearance na ito eh. Yung palang forbearance is patient pa rin. Ano? Patient self-control. Dapat pala meron tayong ano, talagang matibay na loob. Kung paglabanan, baka tayo ay <laughs> sa ating uh, bugso ng damdamin ay may masabi hindi maganda ay hindi po ayos. <laughs> Kailangan po natin magkaroon ng restraint and tolerance. I mean, tolerance in a good way. Ano po, we do not tolerate yung kanilang uh, which is something bad, but we tolerate yung kanilang, uh, kanilang uh, attitude because that goes to show how we love them. Ano po. And it's written ano po, in uh, the letters to the Romans, uh, chapter 15, verse 1. We who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Okay po. We who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Okay po. Hindi po tayo dapat maging masaya dahil may, may mga nagpe-fail. Hindi po tayo maging dapat na maging judgmental. Okay po. Because hindi naman po tayo pare-parehas ng mga personalities. Okay po. But Gagaya po ng sinasabi sa Romans, we who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Okay? I hope it is uh, clear po regarding that one. Again, our work is continuing evangelization. We need to take people where they are and draw them deeper into a new life in our Lord. We need to realize that different people may have different phases in spiritual growth. Hindi po naman tayo pare-parehas ng uh, uh, spirituality. Meron talagang highly spiritual na, meron talagang medyo ano pa, ang, uh, ang growth, no? spiritual growth. But this does not mean pampering or cuddling sinfulness or non-performance. We really need to correct. We, we correct, you know, brother, we brotherly love, we try to correct our brothers. We are also called upon to strengthen others and to correct them if necessary. Ngayon nga po nang nauna ko nasabi. Another quality po, no, ikalimang quality is encouragement. We have to show encouragement to our brothers. No, lalo na po, no, may mga brothers po tayo na talagang down or medyo depressed, medyo uh, may dinaramdam, we have to really show encouragement. In Isaiah, uh, chapter 35, verse 3 to 4, it says there, Strengthen the feeble hands, steady the knees that give way. Say to those with fearful hearts, Be strong, do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance. With divine retribution, He will come to save you. So, what better way po pala talaga nung na uh, ang talagang ipag-sasanggalang uh, natin talaga ay eh, yung Panginoon. Talagang 
siya lang naman ang uh, ating uh, uh, masasandalan uh, sa panahon ng agitipan, sa panahon ng uh, sakit, sa panahon ng uh, pangangailangan. Siya lang naman talaga. And it is a source of encouragement po talaga if we uh, tell our brothers that it is you know, our Lord who can really uh, give them peace, give them comfort, and uh, pacify their uh, their hearts who are uh, on chaos or uh, in distress. So again, in the another reading, you know, often uh, often a word of encouragement from one's leader is enough to make a critical difference. In, so, uh, kailangan natin uh, ibigay na pananalita is more of encouragement than not uh, uh, yung pag, uh, pagdadaong po. We need to be able to convince our brothers that they can move forward in the Christian life and overcome their problems if only they would persevere. So talagang, talagang ganun po, no? Even us naman po, we're st- still in this journey and we're still persevering, you know, to be holy. As uh, sabi nga ng conclusion ni Anandi, Brother Bob, we, all of us, you know, we are aiming, you know, we are uh, trying for the holiness that is expected uh, uh, by God for us. For leaders not to do this would be a spiritual negligence. So, in uh, Ezekiel, Chapter 34, verses uh, 45, then it says there, You have not strengthened the weak, or healed the sick, or bound up the injured. You have not brought back the strays, or searched for the lost. You have ruled them harshly and brutally. So they were scattered because there was no shepherd. And when they were scattered, they became food, for all the wild animals. So gaya po ng nabanggit na rin kanina ni Brother Bob, we are all accountable po dun sa ating mga souls na ating uh, uh, pinapangalagaan. So we, have, we do not have to do this po, no? We do not have to... We have instead, what we have to do is to strengthen the weak and heal the sick and bound up the injured po dapat natin gawin at ibalik natin ano po yung mga nawawala at huwag po natin silang uh, i-treat harshly because otherwise mawawala po talaga sila they, they will be scattered at uh, magiging sabi nga dito kay Ezekiel magiging pagkain na lang ng mga wild animals so mapupunta sila o mawawala sila sa, sa tamang landas we would not only disappoint the Lord, but would also incur His wrath. Yung po yung mas hindi, hindi kaaya-aya para sa atin po. No? Mas nakakatawad yung kasi may incur pa natin yung wrath ng ating Panginoon. Okay po. So, last but not the least po sa ating uh, concretization ng qualities of brotherly love ay going the extra mile. We need to serve beyond the normal call of duty. Ika nga. It is easy to go the first mile, but we need God's grace to go the extra mile. Alam naman po natin, with, without Christ, without we are nothing. So, we always need His grace. And let me uh, quote po the second book of Samuel, uh, chapter 23, chapter 14 to 17. At the time David was in the stronghold and the Philistine garrison was at Bethlehem. David longed for water and said, Oh, that someone would get me a drink of water from the well near the gate of Bethlehem. So the three mighty warriors broke through the Philistine lines drew water from the well near the gate of Bethlehem and carried it back to David. But he refused to drink it. Instead, he poured it out before the Lord. Far be it from me, Lord, to do this, he said. 
Is it not the blood of men who went at the risk of their lives? And David would not drink it. Example of the initiative and sacrifice of King David's men. So yung pala ang meaning ng going the extra mile. Even pala dapat tatayarin natin yung ating buhay. Ano gaya ng ginawa ng mga mighty, mighty warriors na gustong maibsan yung uhaw ni David. No? Hindi na nila inalala yung kanilang sarili. But then, pumunta pa rin sila doon sa gate ng, ano, ng Bethlehem kung saan nandun yung uh, well para makakuha ng tubig. But si David na pagtanto niya na ay mukhang uh, hindi ko ito pwedeng inuman. Mukhang na guilty siya. Biro mo eh. Nirisk nung kanyang mga warriors yung buhay nila para lang uh, mapainom siya. Samantalang siya yung leader. No? Anyways, so this is one example of uh, going the extra mile. We will experience God's grace as we volunteer to do more to serve the people placed under us. And the satisfaction of having served thus will be beyond measure. Ito pala, no? inaasahan natin. Meron pong sinasabi tayo na tayo ay mga slaves tamang nagtaman tama lang na nagsiserve. Hindi natin kailangan yung, yung reward na po because we are only slaves of God. But then again, ang atin namang Panginoon ay uh, a generous God. So, siya na po yung bahala. Kaya nga sabi dito, the, the, the satisfaction of having served will be beyond measure. So, uh, yung conclusion na po, no? Medyo mabilis lang yung pintok ko. <laughs> We are all brothers po, in the missionary families friends. And we are all called upon household servants to serve the rest. In this service, we need the quality of brotherly love. Ano po yung mga nabanggit na po natin na qualities na yan, going the extra mile, and the encouragement, patience and forbearance, and also expression of affection, availability, and what else am I missing? Yung ating pong genuine concern or deep concern for the practical needs of our brothers. Our model is Jesus himself. Even now, he continues to love and serve us all his brothers. The brotherly love required of us is not from the spring well of our own hearts, but rather from God's. So let us tap into his own heart, the true wellspring of endless love. Okay po. And I just want to share po yung, while, while uh, reviewing po, I just remember you. Now, we should be loving our brothers with the love of God. And allow me to sing to the Lord, sing to you. Oh, I love you with the love of the Lord. Nakikita ko 
Thank you, Lord, for your love and showing us how to love our brothers and sisters. Amen. I love you, Alex. I love you, Mo, brother Tuning. <laughs>